we'll get started. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Jazzy Tuesday. Um, if you this is the first time you're tuning in, uh, Jazzy Tuesday is just a weekly reminder or invitation to make a little jazz. So um, I've turned on the camera for a little bit of my own practice time um, for the week, uh, for the day, and I'll narrate what I'm doing so you are welcome to join in with me or, uh, you know, just to hang out. Um, if you have something that you are practicing as well, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I really enjoy hearing what everyone is practicing. And um, yeah, we'll get started. Uh, I just uh, biked through a hailstorm, um, so I'm feeling pretty warm. Well, I guess uh, pretty uh, cold in my extremities, but um, blood is flowing. Holy moly. Seattle got like a massive amount of hail in like the half hour that I had to commute today. What an exciting day. Um, so that's a, a whole a whole new life for, or a purpose for wearing bike helmets, I guess. Anyway, um, as I guess the, the same as last week, I don't think I'm gonna play music because it makes my life on the internet easier. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of rhythm stuff kind of like last week. Um, I might try to remember that choreography. Um, I didn't really practice it. Um, it was fun to make something up and then try it to music later. But um, anyway, I do want to work on um, half breaks and rhythm turns as, um, you know, something that's tap-ish, but also really fun to do in the context of solo jazz. So those are sort of uh, two ideas that I want to use. Um, I think I might put that metronome back on again uh, and do some dancing. Um, that's just a, a, feels like some good dance vegetables, some, a very humbling experience. So I think that's kind of more or less the plan for the day. Um, yeah, I might try to make the, the metronome a little bit louder through the speakers. So yeah. Um, so let's, let's get started. If, uh, if you're looking for more jazz, or, or more Bailey, or a more like structured class kind of time. I teach classes on my Patreon, um, and uh, Patreon is kind of like a membership or subscription kind of platform. So if you are interested in doing stuff, more stuff with me, that is a great place to check out. Um, it also helps support all the other stuff that I do, um, Jazzy Tuesdays, all the other classes, all the other projects. Um, yeah, so check that out if you are interested. Um, and let's see if maybe I can get a metronome going over here. Uh -huh. I've, uh, I have been practicing a little bit with the, the metronome. Um, and I think, you know, in terms of dance vegetables, it definitely feels like, like it needs a lot of work. Uh, yeah, so just like last week, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with um, just keeping up with where the one is, and I really, really want to make that something that feels a lot more second nature, so um, that might be a good thing to work on today, too. I, I think that's something that I kind of work on when there's a metronome on, just no matter what's going on. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe so I like to use this metronome from a website called Musica. Um, two C's. And I think I'm going to start off with just, um, how fast? Maybe 80 beats per minute? Let's see how fast. Oh, that's too slow. Let's try like 100 beats per minute. Yeah, that'll do. Um, yeah, I think I just want to do some half breaks, working on half breaks and um, hopping into them 
and then doing something after. Um, I think this was something that I was working on a, a little while ago and I really liked it. So, man, I did this last week and I, I thought to myself like, oh, I should not do this this week either. Um, putting on the metronome and then immediately talking a lot. But um, I think that just means I'm gonna stop talking and do some dancing. So I'm just gonna do, I think like, half break and then something else and then a half break and something else and I think that'll be a good way to kind of for myself keep an eye or an ear on the one yeah so that strong beat is is the one Let's try one fifteen. Yeah, that'll be okay. Okay, half break and then something else that takes up a bar, four counts. Um, and just to see what happens. Um, since I'm not playing music, I really want to be thinking about the sound of my stuff and the, the rhythm that I'm playing with. Um, yeah, I do practice with music quite a lot, but I have been enjoying just using a metronome. It's, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to just make your own melody. <clears throat> a little intimidating as well, though. Okay, here we go. Hey. Instagram keeps doing this very annoying thing where even when I'm using the app, the screen goes dark and then it pauses the, the thing. That's really annoying. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll just try again. That felt pretty weird and um, pretty bad, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to try a little faster, um, and I think I'm going to try maybe doing a little bit of scatting along too. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to put it over the speaker just so I don't have the excuse of I can't hear it. So let it be known, I can hear it, definitely can. Let's see how loud that is. Pretty loud. Yeah. Okay, let's try 130. I'm gonna keep trying this. Oops. See how it goes. I think I'm gonna shed my layers. And, um, yeah, I was trying to play with rhythm turns at the same time. That might not happen, that's okay.
up and making the two the strong beat. That's the one. I keep making it the two. Oh, natural ones are so humbling. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, mildly interesting ideas. Found a couple. Um, I kind of like, I mostly just stopped because I want to write some notes. Um, where'd my dance notes go? There they are. Um, yeah. Let's see. Today's date is, what is the date? Is it actually the 24th? It's the 23rd. My watch is wrong. Okay. Um, well, I did... go. Um, I sort of found myself hunkering down into a couple of rhythms um, and repeating them. Um, and things that I really liked, things that I would kind of like to play around more with are um, ways of changing feet, making it symmetrical um, without just uh, making the half break itself change. So using the, um, the bar that follows to mess around with, um, the, the rhythm and the, the rhythm of the feet being something, anything with an odd, yeah, an odd number. So yeah, I, I like doing that. So I guess, um, I should write things down. Well, what did I just say? Changing feet. Yeah. So, hey, hey, thanks for coming. 
Um, changing feet with the following four counts. Post half break. And the thing, the two that I was having some fun with was I did a half break, da 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 da, step, ball change, step, step. I mean, that's really a simple rhythm, but I think that um, mechanically it's simple, um, but I think it could have some really cool shape stuff. So let's see, we got a step, ball, change, step, step was one, and then I did another, it was crossing, like cross step, cross, cross, step, what was it? Step, step, ball, ball change, step, step, out together. And that one was nice because I ended up um, split weight, but I did have a kind of hard time just remembering like left or right, you know? I, I think without some um, uh, necessity about like, do I need to move somewhere? Do I need to like look a direction? Do I need to go in a direction? I think without some necessity other than just like uh, a pattern that I decided on, um, it was a little hard for me to keep the pattern, but that might just be because left and right are um, not my forte. But yeah, so we had cross, cross, um, jump out, jump back together. Um, and I like those, those quite a lot. So I think I want to keep playing with them a little bit. Um, and I also did kind of like um, the, uh -oh, where'd I put Facebook? There we are. Oh, wait. Sorry, Facebook, you could only see like a part of me. Um, I did also like the rhythm turn. Uh, when I say rhythm turn, I mean something along the lines of a shuffle, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. Um, yeah, and that's, a, I mean, obviously a tappy, tappy time, but I, I do like it um, in my solo jazz because it feels really rhythmically interesting and I feel like when something is exciting to the person dancing it, then it's more exciting to watch. So um, I, I do like doing a rhythm turn and trying to swing it. I think swung rhythm turns sound pretty cool. Step, step, shuffle, ball change, ah-da, body. I think those are kind of fun. Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't think that would be a difficult thing to change feet with, but I haven't thought about it. And I think in terms of going with my theme, shoot, shoot, ah, 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 ah. shoes too. Um, yeah, I think those are some cool, some cool things. I, I have particularly been enjoying just kind of making some um, structures for myself to play in. Um, it's kind of been a, a go-to way of, um, I guess, giving myself a little bit of direction without just doing a bunch of drills during practice time. So anyway, um, I, I like those three things. I think I'm just gonna put on the metronome and kind of cycle through them again and see if anything else comes out or maybe like a, a little bit of a variation. Um, but I do like those those two funky, funky fun times. So yeah. Um, where did I put the metronome? Yeah, 130 
beads per minute. This is a nice, nice bead, I think. Um, I'll link to this metronome if anyone feels like using it. I like it. A lot of them are really similar, so whatever floats your boat. But this one's called Musica with two C's. Um, the only thing you can't hold out in the whole letter, or in all of the letters that you had to choose from. Which I thought was a little annoying. Because you can't, anyway. I'm just gonna keep dancing and stop complaining about the spelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd my notes go? Yeah. I want to write down that uh, rhythm turn real quick. Ooh, there they are. Um, rhythm, turn, shuffle, toe, heel, toe, heel, step. No, I think that's a normal one. Basically, a normal rhythm turn with a step at the end. It would be a one and a I guess for this one it's uh, a four and a one and two, three. Yeah. Um, a four and a one, a two, three. Um, I don't know how you take notes, if you take notes. The way that I've particularly um, tried to uh, notate steps is making sure if I'm using a lot of like funny intervals, rhythm intervals, I guess that's what you'd call them. Um, I'll put um, periods in the spaces where I'm not doing something crazy. So I have like a period, um, two periods in between two and three because I'm not doing anything on and or a, uh, and I don't have anything on the E, so I just haven't noted them in this at all. Um, I don't know if that's helpful for anyone who is trying to, you know, make some notation about a step that they're trying to learn, but I have found that to be rather helpful. Okay, so I'm just gonna try these on for size. Um, to this metronome again.
on the left side might just kind of suck right now. I guess I need to practice my left rhythm turns. Well, okay, I'm going to shut this off for a second because I want to figure out why it works on the right and not the left. Right side. I guess that's what I was doing, speeding up part of it. But it also works as just pairs. That's all. I might just keep it like that. I do kind of like this sped up version, but right now that is making it quite frustrating on the left side. I'm just gonna keep it a little simpler. Oh no. Instagram. Come back. I think I'm just gonna keep it as those uh swung pairs of notes. It's the uh, at least doable. Um yeah. Let me slow this metronome down just to 120. Try it out. <laughs> I'm already over time. Well, I think this might be uh, the last thing I do. make the, the left rhythm turn feel like the right rhythm turn, which is obviously not going to work out. All right, I need to work on some rhythm turns. Um, okay, I want to remember that other one. Oh yeah, it was just like crossing. in a good way I think okay enough of that metronome um I think 
I'm gonna bring this all to an end right now. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep working on this metronome stuff. Um, boy, is it humbling to realize where your rhythm is really at. Boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna really work on those rhythm turns on the left. Um, I think a lot of things I do uh, quite um, symmetrically. You know, I, I really do them uh, almost as often on both sides um, as on usually the right. So I think, uh, yeah, finding out those um, gaps is, uh, it's a good thing, but it, it's a little annoying, I guess. Um, because I think I've, I've sort of lulled myself into a false sense of security with my left side because there are a lot of things that I can do pretty okay on the left side. Uh, pretty well on the left side, I, I would say. Um, but there are some things such as rhythm turns that really need some work. So left sucks. Yeah, Becca. <laughs> my aunt is here, everybody. Um, well, I'm just about to wrap up. Thanks for stopping by, Aunt Becca. Um, if you uh, if you enjoyed this, I'm here every Tuesday practicing away. You are invited every week. Um, yeah, so come on by uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, do some time zone math and figure out what that means for you. And um, yeah, I'll just be here either with a metronome or maybe with some some real music and working on some jazz. So if you would like to do some more classes with me, you can check out my Patreon. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description slash comments. And um, yeah, if you want to do other classes in this sort of live format. Um, I also do a stretching class on Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific time, and that's called Stretch and Snack, and the idea is that y'all bring a snack with you too, so we do a little bit of stretching, and then a little bit of drink some tea, and uh, taking care of yourself, and um, snacking, and then we call it a day. Well, really, we, we stretch and then part ways and then eat snacks. Um, I don't want to eat on camera, so there we go. Um, that's, that's about it. I don't think I really have any other announcements. Um, <clears throat> oh, this week, I, I do want to kind of plug a cool thing that's happening this weekend. Um, what's it called? Let me find the event so I can actually give you the right, um, the right details. I'm typing in and talking at the same time. It's Dayton... something swing snack down that's what it is um yeah so this is an online event that's happening um i'm gonna put a link to it in the comments um and you should go it's free which is amazing um the teacher lineup is incredible i am so excited to take some classes this weekend and um, I hope to see you there, maybe at a class or two, or maybe at, um, you know, some of the events that they're, that they're holding. Um, and yeah, so it's happening on Saturday. It starts at 11 a.m. Pacific time, um, whatever that means for you, and goes until um, 8 p.m. Yeah, and they've got classes and I think some, some kind of, you know, online social dancey stuff, and I'm very excited about it. So you should go. Um, and I'll see you next Tuesday, if not on Thursday. So take care, everybody. And um, I'll see you next week.